so welcome guys today i'm going to show you how to edit an android application the easy way using an application called as apk editor first open the play store and search for the app the name is apk editor as you can see it is a first app it has over 5 million downloads download the application to your phone and then open it it's about 3 to 4 mb in size so now open the application hello guys now let's see the now open the application that is the apk editor as you can see this is the main user interface go to about as you can see there is another version called the apk editor pro uh, there are some extra features if you need them so now you have your two options select apk from app these are the installed apps in your phone so you can select any of them to modify them or you can select an apk file as you can see i have some apks in my uh, sd card so i can use them or either i can use the installed apps you can browse to your storage where you have stored the apks if you have them you can select them or you can select your installed apps for example uh, i'm going to select uh, random app now so it gives you three options one is full edit simple edit and the common edit so now first let us begin with simple edit select any application and select simple edit as you can see a uh, new pops up this is the most basic and the most useful uh, edit mode which is simple edit what this basically does it is it gives you an uh, provision to replace the files you cannot edit them but you can replace them for example like this if you select one you can replace any file so there are files and there is the images tab so here you will find all the images which are there in the application uh, including the thumbnails the icons everything so you can check them out and see which image you want to uh, replace so i'm scrolling down and here is a splash.png this is a welcome screen of the game so you can just click the icon beside it to replace it with any other image let me say that and random image here and that's it it has got replaced similarly there is icon.png above it you can change the game icon and select any image it has been changed similarly if you uh, click on the save icon beside it it will back up the present image see as you can see okay it has backed up the image so similarly there are audio files which you can edit and replace similarly you can uh, back up them or you can replace them so after all this you just have to click on the save button which is in the bottom and it compiles the application for you it takes some time to build the application so let's wait now it has uh, completed its processing now you can install the application now you can see the logo has been changed Similarly, you can uh, use it for other. Uh, so now let us begin with the advanced editing. Advanced edit mode. Select any application. Select full edit. So you get a screen like this. There is a text. There is a string tab, files tab, and a manifest tab. go to the files here you will find all the folders these are the folders contained within the app this is a bit advanced level and uh, mostly uh, the developers may will be able to know this as you can open the drawable folder here you will get all the xml files these are generally nothing but the uh, layouts and all the animations etc 
so now I find a folder called as values and here you can find a for, uh, an XML file called as strings so what basically this file does is um, this is an XML file which is a bit advanced for basic uh, knowledge uh, all the blue indicate the work they do name and the letters in the white the alphabets or the words in the white are the pop-up messages as you can see there are navigate navigate up more see all choose an app etc if you scroll down here you will find something known as title activity splash and there you can find the color switch which is the name of the application so if you change it here so, in basic, so you can basically change the name of the application and click on save after uh, typing your um, name so then there are other options such as colors html you can change the colors of the application just click on any color and you can either uh, type the color codes or you can just use sliders to change the colors like this and you just click on set and then save so there are some other XML files the dimensions these are the width and size of all the menu menu items navigation bars etc if you can change them here similarly you have to click on save So these are bools.xml, these are all XML files. So you need to have a basic knowledge of XML so you can edit these files. This is a bit advanced stuff. So and the values here you can find integers file, integers.xml. And all these drawable folders are nothing but um, graphics or images, but they are encoded in XML format as you can see here. And here you can find the uh, images. You can replace these images. For example, uh, you can find the icon.png similarly as we had found on the simple edit mode. You can either extract, replace, search, delete it. It's in the PNG format. You will have to replace it with an PNG file itself. You cannot replace it with an uh, JPG file or some other files as you can see here. You need a PNG file. Folders such as values. And the values followed by the languages that is IS, EN stand for English. They have their respective XML files. Values ES, uh, EN, RGB that is the English version as you can see. These are all XML files so you need basic knowledge of XML and where they are used in the application so as to edit them so then, then other than this there are a lot of options there is xml folder here but the main thing using uh, advanced edit mode is or full edit mode is you have to have basic knowledge of app development and a basic knowledge of xml and how the app is built as well as where it is stored as you can see you can edit the xml files from right here so it provides you safe opportunities but you need to have a bit of basic knowledge about android app development and xml files after so guys this is the tutorial about how to edit an android application so i suggest all the users to use a simple edit mode as it is very simple just for basic use if you have the knowledge and in-depth knowledge about android application development then you can go for uh, advanced edit mode